Prophet ﷺ would often express this through a beautiful prayer. He would pray, Allahumma barik lana fi rajaba wa sha'bana wa balighna Ramadan. O oh Allah, bless us in Rajab and Sha'ban and let us reach Ramadan. In this beautiful dua, the Holy Prophet ﷺ makes mention of the blessed months of Rajab and Sha'ban. And he وسلم, prays that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes these months a blessed time for us, that we gain the benefits and rewards of these months before we reach Ramadan. So the mentioning of the months of Sha'ban and Rajab are very important for us, especially when we think about preparing for Ramadan. There are unique blessings that we can attain in these months prior, which we will hope will make our hearts ready to reap the fruits and feel the nearness of our Creator during the month of Ramadan. The Holy Prophet ﷺ and the companions would increase their worship and fasting long before Ramadan in the months of Rajab and Sha'ban. Sayyidah radiallahu anha states that the only month that the Holy Prophet ﷺ would fast abundantly in, except for Ramadan, was the month of Sha'ban. And it is stated that the Holy Prophet ﷺ would often join the fasting of Sha'ban with the fasting of Ramadan. In other narrations, it is stated that the companions, they would see the Holy Prophet ﷺ fasting in the month of Rajab and in the month of Sha'ban, so that it would seem to them that the Prophet ﷺ may never break his fast. In other words, the Prophet ﷺ made a special effort to dedicate Rajab and Sha'ban for fasting and worshipping excessively. Usama bin Zayd radiallahu anhu inquired about the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's practice, and so he narrates that he once asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that I have not seen you fasting in any of the months of the year to the extent that you fast in Sha'ban, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied, "ذلك شهر يغفل الناس عنه بين رجب ورمضان." He states that Sha'ban is the month that falls between Rajab and Ramadan and the people are heedless of it or they neglect this month. And Sha'ban is the month in which our A'mal, our deeds are raised and presented in the court of Allah Almighty, the Lord of the Worlds. فَأُحِبُّ أَنْ يُرْفَى عَمَلِي وَأَنَا صَائِمٌ And the Prophet ﷺ says, So I would like that my deeds and a'mal are raised and presented toward the Lord of the worlds whilst I am in a state of fasting. So Sha'ban is the month in which firstly our a'mal are presented in the court of Allah and the Holy Prophet ﷺ was very particular about being in the state of fasting in a state of spiritual retreat whilst this happened. And why was that? Because the Prophet ﷺ states, The fasting is a shield by which the servant protects himself from the fire of hell. So even the Prophet ﷺ, the most perfect and most pure and completely void from all impurity and sin, fasted whilst their a'mal were in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Sha'ban is the month where not only are our a'mal accounted for, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gives us an opportunity to seek His mercy and repent just in time before Ramadan. And an excellent opportunity for us during Sha'ban is the eve of the 15th, also referred to as Shabi Barat or Laylatul Bara'a, the night of decree. The night on which, as it is narrated, Allah Almighty descends to the lowest skies and forgives more believers than the number of hairs on the sheep of the tribe of Banu Kalb. This narration is meant to be a source of motivation for us to understand the extent of Allah's mercy and therefore 
we are highly encouraged to spend this particular night in excessive amounts of worship and seeking Allah's forgiveness in hopes that he will have mercy on us and bestow his forgiveness upon us before the month of Ramadan arrives. These blessed nights are very important and critical opportunities for us to repent and to do tawbah and to initiate big changes in our lives immediately so that when the time comes to reap the blessings of Ramadan, our hearts are already softened and ready to benefit from the fruits of the blessed month. And the emphasis placed on the months of Rajab and Sha'ban as the perfect months to prepare for Ramadan is further confirmed by the great saints and scholars before us. Hazrat Zunnoon Misri anhu states beautifully that Rajab is the month for giving up troubles, i.e. sins. Sha'ban is the month for worship and Ramadan is the month to wait for blessings and miracles. He further states that those who do not give up all evil, who do not create a strong connection with acts of worship and who do not wait for the blessings are surely those among the people of falsehood. Hazrat Zunnoon Misri anhu gives us a similar reminder, stating that Rajab is the month for forsaking sins, Sha'ban is the month for action and fulfillment of one's oath, and Ramadan is for truth and purification. What this means for us is that Ramadan is not a month to rush into. We shouldn't idly wait for the blessed month to arrive and simply expect to receive and feel all of its blessings and its divine gifts.